last thing over here. Literally have not seen the cars like all week. There's the Lambo, as you guys can kind of tell. And the Mustang, which looks really good in the dark. As you guys know, we've had these vinyls for a cool minute and today might actually be the time we put them on not sure if i'm going to put both of them on right now because we are going to head out soon but at least i'll try current progress looks pretty decent there are some air bubbles but usually from my experience of using these stickers quite a few times already they do need a couple of days to cure, so I'm not too concerned about it, but I wish there weren't any air bubbles at all. Decided before I head inside to come check out the Lambo. I haven't seen it in about a week and it's looking good. I don't know why I found it very humorous when I walked in. The first thing I noticed were these two leaves randomly just sitting on top of the Lambo. And yeah. We'll see if we could take it out, but I have my doubts. We are finally out here in the Mustang. I've not driven it all week. At least I don't remember driving it, but I'm pretty sure I didn't go anywhere all week long, so it is nice to get it out. Especially with the perfect weather. Unfortunately, we need to fill up gas once again. I almost feel like almost every second drive, it needs gas. So that's unfortunate, but we will be probably filling it up somewhere in today's adventures. And yeah, just running errands pretty much with my family who are in the bends. But I wanted to sort of drive separately so I can enjoy the car and shoot a vlog for you guys. Done with stop number one, which happened to be the post office. And yeah, I'm seeing the 71 vinyl on the door for the first time. It looks good, but I feel like maybe I should have made it a little more on the center of the door panel. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like the number looks a little smaller, even though it's the same size as the Lamborghini as well as the 04 Mustang. But I guess the door, the door on this car might be a little bit bigger than those. I mean, I'm sure it's bigger than the Lambo door because the Lambo is such a small car. But yeah, so it is looking a tad bit small, but I think it still looks pretty good and yeah we'll see last night I ordered some goodies we have the side window louvers coming which as you guys know I ordered it before because I was told it fit but they didn't and then you know I waited and then yesterday I just happened to check and it looks like they have 2024 Mustang louvers just for this particular uh, year which proves that you know there was no way the the other one that I had gotten would actually fit like I was told but yeah so I ordered that so that should be coming soon I did order a couple of other things I'm trying to remember I ordered an RTR ducktail spoiler which I've been looking at for a while um, so I got that um, I tried to look at other ones to see if they had something similar to what the dark horse has because my dad likes that spoiler and as you guys know if we reach i think like 40 40 000 subs this year or whatever we will be giving my dad this mustang so i was trying to sort of build it somewhere between what i like and what he likes and that's the one of the reasons i actually got this color otherwise i probably would have just got a black car uh, but he liked this color so i got this color um, which I don't mind obviously it's unique and whatnot so it's cool I tried to look for other spoilers but there weren't really options at least when this video is being recorded there aren't any options so you know it is what it is I do love ducktail spoilers just generally speaking so I don't mind getting the RTR spoiler especially considering the way it looks it looks like it's um, a large ducktail and I, I like that feel of like a large ducktail spoilers 
so I'm not mad about it maybe later on down the line we'll change it who knows but for the time being we are going to put that spoiler on and I did order hood pins as well and yeah so we'll be putting the hood pins on and they're not fake ones they're actually the real hood pins so we will be drilling into this 2024 Mustang hood which barely has like 700 miles on it so we're drilling through the hood and yeah putting the hood pins on which will probably come in handy maybe when we do eventually have like almost a thousand horses on this car but yeah hood pins side louvers side louvers and um the ducktail spoiler so we're sort of closing in on this build in terms of the exterior i just need to put the vinyls on the right side it's actually sort of funny because on the left side i have the 71 vinyls and then i have the red tire markers on the rear drag wheels on the right side i don't have the 71 vinyl which is actually right here and we don't have the red tire markers so either today or tomorrow we will be working on the right side of the car so that it actually matches the left side of the car and then you know once the ducktail comes we'll put that on hood pin same thing and then the uh, side louvers and yeah outside of that i think we're going to put small racing stickers sort of like we have on the 04 mustang i still have not ordered those but maybe i'll look into that very soon and get those so we'll be putting those on and then in terms of the exterior we just have the hre wheels for the front which i'll probably wait maybe several weeks um, to order so the front hre wheels well i think will be the last thing left outside of those small racing stickers i do want to get um, a carbon hood i haven't really looked into carbon hoods but i'll i'll do that later down the line i'm not really you know in a rush to get it but i've always wanted a mustang with a cowl hood so we'll He didn't hear the car but obviously you know I, I don't i don't think i did anything illegal by any means but yeah so i think that'll be it the small racing stickers the front hres and then eventually we'll get the hood uh carbon cowl hood on on this car and you know we do need to change the suspension up a little bit um, not really sure exactly what we're going to do, but I think we're going to drop the car a little bit, but I want to wait until I don't think that person saw the cop but, um, I want to get the HREs first and I think I'm going to put thicker tires in the rear I don't mind what's set up right now, but I think the car is sitting a little too low in the rear and You know my exhaust keeps scraping in the driveway So I think what we'll do is we'll actually put uh, 245 or not 245 we'll, we'll put three 345 45 17 I think on them and yeah so it's going to be a way thicker tire and we'll obviously put maybe like 19 or 20 inches I was recommended 20 inches for the front on the HRE so we'll put 20 inches probably like a thinner tire and then we'll figure out how much we need to drop the car if at all at that point uh, so it sits uh, perfectly because right now it doesn't sit too well um, so we need to do that but yeah outside of those handful of items we're pretty much done with the exterior just waiting for the supercharger to show up and all that to be worked out I will get Canon filters I'm looking at tunes because I don't believe the supercharger comes with the tune and yeah I don't think anybody has a tune yet because I literally checked this morning couldn't find anything on it so we will need uh, to get a tune on the car I'm hoping we're shooting flames out of this thing and you know so that'll be it for the mechanical mods and you know maybe one day maybe I'm not really 100% set on it we'll redo the interior so as leather but um, that's not really uh, as important as the exterior and the mechanical mods we are finally leaving stop number three at this point and yeah i did get a compliment at stop number two when i was leaving but unfortunately since stop number two is like literally right next door i didn't uh you know have my camera running at that point but yeah i feel like a lot of a lot of comments and compliments and everything sort of go unrecorded unfortunately
just could see him like that with a tint. This dude really got some blue ass hair. And the Super Bowl been ended, so I don't know. I don't know about all that. I've thought about dyeing my hair. I dyed my hair like years ago. So it's, it's been a while. And I don't want to ruin my hair. Especially as I'm getting older. But a part of me is like, I think it would be kind of cool uh, to potentially uh, dye my hair. But I don't know. I don't know how it would work. Unfortunately, I, you know, I have a professional job. So unfortunately, I can't just go around dyeing my hair like that. So um, as much as I would like to. Not that simple, so. passenger princess that's literally a vinyl because I can't find a passenger princess
rest of it, let's keep it as a montage, I guess. We just wrapped up the stop. That M3 is smooth. Really quiet, though. But, uh, yeah. that don't look where they're going so always be mindful of that Of the car for some reason because the suction didn't hold and camera literally fell hit my Mustang Daga shit fell apart don't know where the hell the head went unfortunately and oddly enough that's the same thing that happened in the Lamborghini if you guys don't know what I'm talking about I'm talking about this basically and there's supposed to be like a dog that's the the pilot if you will and the same thing had happened in Lamborghini. I don't remember if the camera hit it or something else hit it, but that shit like literally fell apart. And I couldn't find the dog. It's somewhere. It's somewhere in, inside. I just don't know where exactly. And uh, yeah, having the same situation here where it literally fell off. I have no idea where it's at.
In today's adventures, we are going to be blacking out the emblem. Finally got some paint yesterday. And yeah, it's pretty early in the morning today. Been working on many different things, but decided to quickly come out here, maybe spend an hour with the car doing some stuff. I do want to do the tire markers on this side, do the vinyls on the door, and potentially fix the tire markers here i think i need to clean it up like a little right here maybe a little right here and sort of redo the hp and the ex so going to try to get all that done but as usual we'll just see i don't want to spend too much time over here not really in the happiest mood i would say so I sort of kind of just want to beat myself and, you know, be inside. And I do have a lot of editing to do, but we'll see what gets done today. I might just sort of try to chill um, since I rarely get any time to chill. And I will be turning on the Lamborghini today. It's been several days since it's been turned on. And yeah, but I'll wait because I don't want to annoy the neighbors this early. Uh, so we'll probably do that after we're done working on the Mustang, which will also actually need to be moved um, Probably closest to the garage door. So I have work or I have space to work that mighty Oh shit, I just, been, I just realized I've been driving around with a tape underneath but the mighty 5.0 So we taped it up I think as well as possible now. I'm just wiping down the emblem because that needs to be done and what the hell is that no no anyways yeah so wiping down the emblem and it'll be time to spray while i was out here i realized that i still have never washed this car even though i've owned it for about two months but that is the finished product and it looks pretty good. Now it's time to move the cars. Or move this car, I should say. Stupid car play literally ruined the cold start. But here we are a few seconds later after turning it on. Got the wheels done, got the vinyl done. Some air bubbles, as you guys might be able to tell, which hopefully will go away. The only thing that I'm a little annoyed about, which is my own fault, is that it's not actually perfectly straight. And I didn't realize that immediately until it was too late. And then there was an indent, I guess it was creased. Um, the sticker had several creases in it. All of them really came out except this one, which I'm not very happy about, unfortunately.